it's your boy blue and i'm back all right thanks for coming back to my channel my video my stream they're at the door let them in it's my peoples okay the video today is the item shop we do have a sponsor today we do have a sponsor today's sponsor <laughs> oh my god today's sponsor i don't think you're ready for this um today's sponsor is bill cosby's night quill pudding pops yes Bill Cosby has his own line of Night Cool Pudding Pops. Let's hope you decide to take them and someone else don't decide to take them for you. You to take them for them, right? <laughs> it could get dangerous out there. So what do you think's coming out? We got the update today. Halloween. Some Halloween decorations, right? Did you all see the, like, the leaks for the new skins? They look really good. ZG3, the place to be. Ayo, cool. Thunder Night Boy. I be biddles. <laughs> hey, um, yeah, tonight, you know, I don't like talking about racism because, you know, we all had that Black Lives Matter and riots and stuff like that. But the reality is I'm going back to a story when I was about five or six years old and I got the racism choked out of me. No joke. True story. It happened to me. Check the police files. And actually, I tried to check the police files because I wanted to get this guy's name. I was curious. I couldn't find nothing on it. I don't know. Uh, Reaper? I see a Reaper. Look, look, it's just stuck there. It's the Reaper. It's just the Reaper. <laughs> the Reaper season one. You know, people loved it. How long has it been since we've seen the Reaper, right? The tournament is tomorrow, but I don't have two other friends to play with. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Comfy Chops. Shark. Oh, I like these shark slappers. Oh, and the sale. How, how can you forget the sale, right? Are you getting it? <laughs> With the Reaper? Yeah. Look, the same zombie things are there. Oh, they got the Battle Hound over here chilling. Look, 2000 over here chilling. Guff. So just the Reaper. It sounds really sweet there, don't it? Harvest resources and souls. Ah, that sounds really good. Cozy chops and comfy chops. Regal. <laughs> yeah, people are going to get the regal fluff when the reaper's out, right? What is the thing next to the legends bundle? What? This is out the ultimate reckoning pack. Wow. So you can get V Bucks for it. Okay, cause I I just gift I just gave back that uh that football skin, so I have enough to gift this to me from Cam's account. Let's inspect the items. The ultimate reckoning pack. He looks so cool. Look at his head. Ha! <laughs> you got a big head. Oh my God! Look at that back leg. I love it. <laughs> I like his big head too, though. I like it sewed on heart. Man, that looks so cool. Oh, okay. See, we have this dude, the dude version, right? The wings ain't too different. They're a little smaller, more cut looking. <laughs> he looks kind of cool. The back bling ain't that much different, though. It's a little smaller, though. A little smaller, because I wear it a lot. On her version. So, grave. Violet. Nashy, like little Nashy. Wow. <sighs> Man. Nice. The ultimate reckoning pack. Man, he is so cool. Nash is so cool. Not like that singer Nash. <laughs> He's pretty cool too. I like the purple one. That's it. I want the ghoul trooper to come out. Yeah, Casper, I hear you. Sixteen dollars worth it. Old snap. Yeah, yeah, I know. I didn't even know. I'm over here gazing at the Reaper. I didn't even know that was out. I seen him today, but I wasn't hundred percent what was in the pack. Cause you know I seen that uh, that Halloween bomber too. She looked cool. Another bomber, right? Okay, and we got the peekaboos. These things just came out, like. But I guess, you know, they're kind of scary. 
he's scary. His version's a little scary. Like, if I've seen him in the alley, I'll be like, I hope, look, I'll be like, I hope this guy's blowing up balloons. <laughs> night, night. <laughs> Hit you with one of them pip squeak things. Lucky. Pennywise, right? Yeah. I have good eyes. Yeah, thanks, DC. Because I would have been over here like, and that's it. Because <laughs> you know, I ain't going over here because I can't. I haven't bought the Corrupted Pack, obviously, right? So I'm over here forgetting that. What was it like right here? Look. You seen a, a smidget. <laughs> nice. Brute Gunner, yeah. He's nice. Saxy Groove, right? Well, I could get down with a saxophone. I don't know how to play an instrument. <laughs> I want to play, I've always wanted to play uh, a piano. And I wanted to sing um, All of Me to my wifey. Just sort of bringing out some John Legend. I know, I say, I'm talking about like play the piano and sing. That'd be pretty bad. All right, there it is. Ultimate Wrecking Pack. Awesome. And all this stuff. <laughs> and the Reaper, right? All right, so that's it. There's the item stuff, so you know what time it is. Shout out time! Blue Eagles, can I get a shout out? Yes, 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 you can get a shout out. All you have to do is comment on my item shop of the video. Hell, comment on this video, and I'll shout you out tomorrow. And um, let's hope I don't butcher the first person. <laughs> I'll be working on this name for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Now, first of all, in my hearts of all hearts, my right-hand woman, my thick and my thin, Blue's wifey. Yes, Blue's wifey's first. She's always going to be first. She don't have to comment. She did comment. She don't have to. She said, rest in peace, Eddie. Yes, story last night had my friend Eddie in it. Rest in peace. Maybe one day I'll tell you his story. It's sad, though. Um, Pinned by Blue Egos. Iconic. Iconic. I said iconic. What did you say? You said a chronic, right? I didn't see no K. I said a conic. A conic. A conic. A conic. I didn't even. I think he tried to say no in there. I'm gonna put a no in there for him. You were sub to me. I sub. Yes. Well, that's good. He's got 25 subscribers. Now he's got 26. And he's got one video. It says, type in Rick Ashley's never going to give you up lyrics in Among Us. So please, go support him. Tell him put some more stuff out there. Blue, wish me luck on this tournament. It starts at 5 and ends at 8. Good luck, DZ. Why are the zombies still there? Because people think they're going to buy them. Carlos Streams, hey, Blue. All right. And please stick around for my story. When I got racism choked out of me. I mean, I didn't even know I was racist, but apparently I was. I didn't know. It. Um, Dead Sushi 13 says the story keeps getting more and more funny. Yeah, tonight's story, I don't know if it's so funny, but it's true. Um, Cameron says Blue Egos YT on Twitch to watch it live two minutes before the flip. Just underscore knives. Thanks for supporting my montage, the old one. And he's got 23 subscribers. Now he's got 24. And I just uh, checked out his new one, which was 16 hours ago. No scope. Period X. So yeah, check him out. Call of Duty montage. Critical OPS gameplay. I hit Liddy Snipes. I hit Liddy Snipes. I smidget Liddy Snipes once. Smidget. Nah, it's like... Um, Menace, Dash Gaming Videos, Cool Shop. I won't get anything until the leaks come out soon. The Walking Dead Collector. All right. I'm back again. Been a while. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Uh, Ghost Plays. I guess Blue has an action-packed life. Or has had had action-packed life. Yes, I have. Um, Killer Cam says Patch Patroller. Oh, yeah. Dark Bomber said Crazy Story. DJ... Zatchy Scribble? DJ Scratchy Scratchy Scribble? No, hold on. DJ Zacky Scribble? Oh my god. The peoples are here! Yeah, peoples are here. Like, I got 10 people here right now, too. It's kind of crazy. I usually have like two people here. 
He's got 31 subscribers. Now he's got 32. Among Us for the first time. Evict Hitler gets distracted by Henry Stickman. And 2 out of 10, which I think he's reading an item shop or something. He's reading something. Pickle, hello, not a bad shop. I'm trying to save up for Star One and last forever. SRH, a fake robbery turned out to be real. That's crazy. Yes. Random game at 21. Cool. I don't care if you don't have a mustache as high. Mon underscore Goosey YT says not first. Coach Trex YT says hey blue with some claps, claps. DJ Scribble again says hey blue. Bryce underscore YT GG. -G. Big G Hoop G. Hi blue. Astro underscore Carl says lit. Drops 2K said this item shop is kind of trash now. And that is the shout outs. Here is your phone. I'm okay at Marvel Knockout, so I think I'm good. Yeah, I don't... I think I suck at Marvel I mean, I have won a couple games, but... All right, let me take this drink. <sighs> and tell this story. Um, we'll inspect these items while I tell my story, right? Um, Hold on. Okay, I'm not 100% how old I was, but I will tell you, I was old enough to drive a big wheel. Now, I know you kids grew up with the scooters and all that good stuff, but when I was a kid, we had big wheels. Now, we had skateboards too, but we had big wheels, and basically it's just a little tricycle at the ground, right? And I had a good one. I had like the, um, we used to call it the green machine. It had the little brake on the side, and well, my street was pretty long. My street was pretty long. But it was close, and you would we would go all the way. We were allowed to go up to the mailbox, which was the end of the big street, and then come all the way down to our street. Now, we had these two different neighborhoods. One was uh, where we lived, which was like these apartments slash townhomes. They looked like townhomes, but it was like somebody lived upstairs, someone lived downstairs. So they were apartments, right? And then the next block had like sort of the similar thing, but... It was shaped different, so it was a different block, and it was set up different too. They didn't have yards; they had like uh, stairs and grass, but nobody had a specific yard, you know. But we had yards, so I'm just saying that to let you know. Like, okay, so me and my friends used to drive up and down the street, um, and ride our big wheels. And there was this guy that used to sit on his porch. Now I don't remember what I didn't like about this guy. But I do remember that, uh, you know, he always yelled at us about riding our uh, our bikes past him or something. Like, he had some kind of problem or something. I don't know. Honestly, as I'm telling this story, I think I blocked out a lot of it because I have a lot of trauma from this story. And I'm sharing it with y'all because it, it really, like... Uh, it shaped me to the point where I, no one can even, like, touch my neck. My daughter's the only person to touch my neck. If anyone touches my neck, like, they're going somewhere. Like, I'm, I'm, I have, like, this defense mechanism with someone touching my neck. It's just reality. Touch my neck. No, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm tripping out over here. What's that? Uh, no, no. I don't even wear turtleneck sweaters. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, right? So, we're, we're riding our, uh, our big wheels, and, um... And we were calling this guy Tootsie Roll right now. I don't know. I could imagine calling a black person Tootsie Roll right now. Like, it's so offensive. So offensive to the point where I deserve to get choked out. You know what I mean? I, I deserve it. But as a kid, being how young I was and little, like, he should have came and checked my family. Like, yo, you got your terrible ass, terrible mouth child over here. You need, to, you need to straighten them or I'm going to straighten you. That's what he should have done. He should have checked the man in our life, you know, whoever he was. <laughs> but, you know, obviously I wasn't the man in the world. You know, I'm a little kid riding a big wheel, right? So we're riding up the street, saying it, and then he starts chasing us. Now, you know, there's three of us. I was booking. He grabbed me from my, uh, he grabbed me from my, uh, my big wheel by his hands and he picked me up. And he choked the living heck out of me. I mean, he choked the living heck out of me. Like, he... I don't... I don't remember <laughs> if he threw me down or he just let go of me and realized that, like, maybe, you know, it's wrong what he's doing. <laughs> I don't know. But, but believe me, he, he, he put the strength... He put so much strength in me, I didn't even know what was going on. Like, I didn't even know I was a racist little kid. 
I, di I didn't even realize that. And, and I blame that on my mom, because who knows what they were saying, you know what I mean? <laughs> if they got me saying this, you know what I mean? And uh, so yeah, he choked me out and they called the police and they arrested him. They, they, they uh, grabbed my face and they took pictures of my neck and made sure that, uh, you know, and then he literally like for the next, next few days, I had like these handprints indented into my neck. So yeah. The purple mask girl looks like she might be. I mean, I know, you know, there's nothing funny about that story. But I was thinking, I told you all about my wife rescuing somebody. And technically, that wasn't really a funny story either. <laughs> but it is a true story. What am I doing? It's a true story that happened in my life. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, obviously, I'm not racist. But I realized, like, at an early age, watch what you say. <laughs> watch what you say, you know what I mean? You gotta watch what you say. But all right, that's the crazy story. It's definitely crazy, it happened to me. I was a child. Don't touch my neck if you ever see me. <laughs> nah. All right, it's your boy Blue, and I'm out.